Right. Now, the XCPNG testing video I uploaded earlier, I finished recording that video at 10.37 a.m. this morning. I edited it together. Then while transcoding and uploading that video, I went ahead and told Debian to install XFCE. It is now 12.37 p.m. Wednesday Arvo, and Debian is finally ready to be used. Houston, we've still got a lot of problems. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, it's time for server PC stuff. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Wednesday Arvo, 12.38pm now, and I can finally use Debian. Two hours to install. From, well actually no, nearly three hours to two and a half hours to install almost. That's too slow. We've clearly got some hardware issues. So, let me show you where we're at now. Debian 10 ready to be used. We'll log in. So, we clearly have some hardware problems and definitely some serious performance issues. I can't wait two or more hours for an OS to install that we can then go ahead and do an SSPR video. And you just use the default panel for this. It's too slow. And you can see here, the network's not running properly. All right. We've got some problems. All right. One of the biggest issues we've got is RAM. Now, while we've got enough RAM, the RAM is too slow. That's the first thing. Second thing, the network in itself is under a lot of load. All right. I've got to find another Ethernet cable that I can come off the second e onboard Ethernet port on that server to allow it to run. All right. And you can see here. Now, I've got to manually get it to connect. No, not good. Not good at all. As far as performance is concerned, well, let's have a look. Not good. Little slow. Now, this is just a base install of Debian. All right. This is just a very basic install of Debian 10.6. I think, or 10.8, one of the two. Can't remember which Debian it was I put on. Um... What do I call it? I can't think what it, what it is. Um, I think it's Debian 10.8. But anyway, whatever it is. It runs, but if you have a look, it's a hell of a lot slower than what it is. And I think the, the biggest issue we've got is that 333 megahertz RAM speed. All right. Now, that RAM I've got in is all the same RAM. So we've got some RAM timings to do on that RAM to get it to work properly, all right? You can't use Debian like this, all right? It runs so much faster out on the other servers, per se. But even if I do this, Oh, I hate the way Debian does this. It's there. Try that again, shall we? Oh, for crying out loud, what's going on here? See, it, it, it is so slow to respond to even some keyboard commands. So if we get rid of, oh, it's already disabled it, good. So let's get out of that. And I'll show you how slow it is. It's just, it, you, yeah, no. 
it, it is way too slow. All right, and you can see there. Now, my internet right now is actually pretty quick. All right, I'm running at 60 megabit. Okay, and if we go app update, the way this panel's locked all right so all the apps are up to date if we then go into interwebs just close this window off now by now the other server would have already loaded firefox that is too slow so we've definitely got some issues. We've got more hardware problems we've got to sort out that clearly, judging by the way today's gone, means we've got a lot of problems. So what we've got to do is I'm actually going to shut this down because I don't want to force a shutdown. Log out and we'll do a proper um, shutdown of Debian. So we know we've got some problems. All right, and they're all hardware related. All right, that goes without saying. So basically, either tomorrow or for weekend Saturdays, we're going to get back into that server, uh, into the BIOS. I'm going to see if I've got faster RAM lying around. Even if I can get it up to 900 meg, I should have some 900 meg lying around. But at 333 megahertz speed, it is ridiculously slow. Okay, even if I can get, mate, well, maybe not 1066, but maybe even 600 megahertz, it's still going to be better. Because that is unusable. And two hours to install a simple Debian, I hate to think how long it would have taken to do KDE or Mate or Cinnamon or even LXDE. Um... It might have been quicker doing LXDE because LXDE is lighter again than XFCE. But that is ridiculous. We can't we can't use that. All right. That's not going to work. If that if that's how it's going to perform, I might as well keep using the Acer until the day it completely collapses on me. Then we're in real trouble. So some hardware fault finding and diagnoses. Diagnoses? Some hardware diagnosis and optimization is what is needed. That's what I meant to say. So there we go. So we know it works, but there's, there's a lot of problems. There is a lot of problems. And uh, we're going to have to sort them out. Now, whether we do it tomorrow or for weekend Saturdays, that remains to be seen because I don't know. I don't know what the other half's work commitments are yet. And also, we're probably going to have to hang on to it till Saturday anyway, because tomorrow's a uh, a day that I need to do stuff. I'm going to explain that tomorrow for the Thursday promo. So we may hang off on it till weekend Saturdays. And also, preview of AV Fridays too, guys, just a heads up. We uh, I showed you last Friday how I mix and master i got a special surprise for you this Friday coming up, and I'll talk about that in a preview video, coffee chat tomorrow. That's it for Midweek Wednesday here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. I'll catch you around the channel early tomorrow morning. Have a good one. This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.